the place that God fears. G'day mate, my name's Marty and I'm an Australian currently living in America. And today's video, I decided to do something that I really love watching on YouTube, which is ask Reddit videos. I constantly fall down the rabbit hole of these on YouTube, but usually it has like that stereotypical Google translated kind of voice. So I decided to actually look at some of the Australian ask Reddit questions and do them with my voice instead. If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe button as well. I really appreciate it and helping to build my channel here on YouTube. With that being said, let's get started. What's the first thing you think of when someone says Australia? Giant spiders and crabs battling to death. Definitely the giant spiders one is a huge thing. I have had that situation where there's like a giant spider in your car and you freak out and you want to swerve while you're inside your car driving. It is terrifying. That is not something that I miss at all. It is definitely a highlight of living in America. Mate. That's a very Aussie thing. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Oh, Finding Nemo. That's our only really Disney Aussie movie. Obviously there's Rescuers Down Under. Why are all of our Disney movies animals? I mean, our animals are pretty cool, but... Oh, I don't know this one. I just don't want to give you me lighter because you always pocket me lighter. Always stealing me freaking lighters, you. Ziggy butt brain. Oh, I feel like this was like an internet meme video from a while ago. That's what no. they're going to call you, mate. They're no. going to call you Ziggy butt brain. No. Kangaroo. Yeah, we have loads of kangaroos. Drop bears. Yes. I managed to trick my husband with drop bears when we first went to Australia. I feel bad, obviously, but you have to. Like, if you don't know about drop bears... I don't want to ruin it for you. But they're deadly creatures and you really have to watch out for them because those things come out of nowhere and they will attack you in a heartbeat. Oh, Steve Irwin, bless him. Agro by name, hand by nature. Middle of nowhere, bugs the size of Texas. Yeah. Oh, one, three, double, oh, six, triple, five, oh, six. The reading, writing hotline, I think it was. It was like an 80s or 90s ad on television. Good. C word. Yeah, we do like to say the C word quite a lot. I remember even having like it printed on a shirt that I used to wear to like music festivals and things like that. For us, it's like another word for mate, good C, sick C. It all means like, yeah, you're super cool. You're mad, you're rad, all that kind of thing. G'day, crikey. Oh, Vegemite sandwiches, yes. I managed to convert my husband actually. He loves Vegemite on toast now for breakfast. Like a minimal amount, not like the spread it on like Nutella kind of amount. Bogans. Crikey is very, a little bit more like old school, but it is still like very Aussie. Yeah, Crocodile Dundee, that's not a knife. That's a knife. <laughs> that's not a knife, that's a spoon. All right, you win. I see you've played knifey spoony before. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> I see you've played knifey spoony before. Oh my God, I remember when that Simpsons episode came out when we were kids. Everyone used to always say that. It was one of the most popular phrases I remember as a kid growing up. Oh, the minute work song. Come from the land down under. Death, just death. I mean, that's a bit rough. I get that it's a huge land that's basically a desert filled with the many dangerous animals from itty bitty sizes to massive great white sharks. Look, it's not that dangerous to live in though, realistically. You just have to be smart about it, just like anywhere. Oh, someone's Australian, they think of Sydney Harbour Bridge. I guess that's like, a, like obviously the most classic, like iconic man-made structure. Aussies. Fockers, drop bears, spiders, emu war, beautiful coast. Emu war. I didn't know about this. My husband was the one who told me about the great emu war. I had no clue. I never knew about the emu war growing up, nothing about it until I left Australia. And other people told me that we had a war against the emus and we lost, which I'm not surprised that we don't learn about in school because who wants to learn that their ancestors fought emus and lost? Traveling out on a hippie trail, head full of zombie. Aussie rules football, great game. Shrimps on the Barbie. Oh, it's prawn, you bloody pelican. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great response. Yeah, we, we don't say shrimps. That's a very American thing. We say prawns. I actually grew up on a prawn farm myself. I never understood that it was something they did just for the movies. For Crocodile Dundee, they changed it to shrimp because it was Hollywood and they didn't think that Americans would understand the word prawn. Pauline Hansen. Oh, she is like our very rough politician. Like if you've got someone who is like super hardcore, the furthest right person you could 
ever think of in your entire life. Like that is Pauline Hanson. She is just one full on woman. She's gone to prison as well and she's still a politician. Sheila, yeah, we use the word Sheila for females. Akadaka or ACDC in Ford Falcons. Oh, basically heaven on earth. My mother speaks very highly of it so I guess that's where it comes from. And kangaroos and sheep. Australia is pretty good to BH. We have a pretty good COVID situation, especially compared to some countries. We have no cicada 17 year cycle. We have kangaroos and koalas and quokkas and stuff. And trust me, a lot of Australia wildlife stories are exaggerated. Yeah, I've, I've got to give it to Fluffy Bear 45 here. COVID situation in Australia is pretty good because the government has been insanely strict to the point where like it's impossible for Australians overseas to actually almost get back home. Bit of pros and cons obviously with that, but in terms of Australians in Australia, they are incredibly safe. They've had like almost nothing going on there. The wildlife stories are definitely exaggerated. Yes, we have amazing wildlife. Yes, they are dangerous, but it's not to the point where like every day we're like, what's gonna get me today? It's nothing like that whatsoever. Just beautiful biodiversity. Home and generally a good place to live. Poisonous animals and desert. I'd love to move there, start a new life. Suffering of sun lack here in the UK. Yeah, don't blame me. The UK gets hardly any sun whatsoever. So I would be feeling pretty depressed. One of the reasons actually a lot of Australians move to the UK, we have like this sort of rite of passage to like head back home to the traditional land. But a lot of Australians actually get depression and anxiety. There was like a study a while back that came out about it because we're not used to a lack of sun. And so going to other countries where they don't have 24 seven sun, we actually really suffer from it. Really interesting, I think, the fact that we are so reliant on the weather around us growing up. The place that God fears. They accent, lol. We have no accent. We are the template of all man. Say Straya in my head. Kangaroos, koalas and cassowaries. Massive bird, huge thing on the head that's absolutely deadly and could crash your car in seconds. Stay the hell away from them. They're like dinosaurs with feathers, which is legit actual dinosaurs. Koala, Scott Morrison, current PM, bit of a tosser. Climate change and skin cancer. Yep, skin cancer, country capital of the world, I'm pretty sure. The sun in Australia is deadly and different to the sun everywhere else in the world. I realize scientifically that doesn't make sense, but it is 100% absolutely true. The sun is deadly. The look of it on the map. Yeah, looks like Australia. Dear every plant and animal, please don't kill me. Sincerely, the humans. Hugh Jackman, yes, the boy from Oz. My mom is a huge fan of Hugh Jackman, as am I. He's probably one of my favorite like Hollywood stars who made it. Absolutely love him and his uh, musical The Boy From Oz is fantastic. Maccas! So Maccas is our nickname for McDonald's. I never realized that different countries actually have different nicknames for McDonald's. America says like Mickey D's, but Australia we say Maccas. Home, I live there, it's great, the drop bears hardly ever attack and the kangaroos around here have been eaten by the spiders. I automatically say out loud, Ozzy, 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 to wait for the oi, oi, oi. I wonder if it'll work with my husband. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. Hmm, Australia. Wait, is Australia a country or a continent? This is both. I first heard of Australia on an episode of The Simpsons. Still remember the plot and Bart's protest of getting a kick in the ass. Marge, I'm glad you're okay, honey, but I wish you'd chosen a more tasteful way to be patriotic. Lisa, I'm impressed you were able to write so legibly on your own butt. Australia is like a Hollywood movie set. You walk through and you see a clean, modern place with civil people and good standard of living, but behind the scenes is criminals, psychopaths, corporate fraudsters, pedophiles, drug dealers, racists, corporate politicians and authority, child traffickers and media having you believe otherwise. Jeez, that's rough. I I guess every country is like that though, really? Not everything is as gorgeous as the tourism ads would portray it to be. My buddy Liam is from Australia. He once bought a dog online, an Australian Shepherd. He asked his dad to pick it up on the way home from a hall. His dad is a truck driver. And then his dad came home with a dingo. For anyone who doesn't know, a dingo is not an actual dog. It's like our version of a wolf. It is a wild, wild animal, not a pet. The outback, a dusty trucker in a cowboy hat, staring off into the sun baked yonder in the distance kangaroos, also the ocean, Tim Tams, dodgy government, and the Australian Brotherhood. Foster's beard, what is this even doing in this thread? That doesn't even get brewed in Australia, I'm pretty sure. Ew, no Australian would drink that. Imaginary. Foster's beer is not Australian. It was made by Americans. It's been brewed in the UK. It is not our beer. It is just a marketing ploy to make you think that it is. I don't know any Australian who's ever drunk it. The scummiest expats in SEA. <laughs> Casual racism. Yeah, Australia's not great, but I think now with technology that they're definitely getting a lot better and things are progressing a lot better as well.
You hate it, we have it. Police state. Yep, that's probably someone who is in lockdown, most likely in Melbourne. And that's basically it. So if you enjoyed listening to my voice rather than the Google Translated voice, please let me know in the comments down below if there's any other threads on Reddit that you would like me to read. Otherwise, I really enjoyed going through these. I'll probably do a couple more like this as well. Like, comment, subscribe, all of the fun things as well. And I will see you in another video. Mwah. Bye.